Hi everyone, welcome to this step-by-step -step tutorial where I'll show you how to create an IM user in AWS and host a basic web page using an EC2 instance. Whether you're just starting out with AWS or want a refresher, this video will guide you through the process in a simple and beginner-friendly way. Let's get started. To create an IM user, I will first log in using the root user account. I am not showing the root user creation process here assuming that you already have set it up. I will click on sign in with root user email to begin. You can enable two-factor authentication here for added security but I am skipping that for now. Once the console loads, I will navigate to the IAM dashboard. Since I have used it before, it appears in the recently visited section. If you are accessing it for the first time, just type IAM in the search bar at the top and select it from the results. I am very sorry that I missed recording that part in a rush. Inside the IAM dashboard, the first step is to create a user group. In AWS, users are typically part of a user group and each group must be associated with a policy. Search for administrator access in the policy list and assign it to the user group to grant admin rights. Once the user group is created, move ahead to create a new user. Assign the user to the group you have just created. Then set a password for this user. Make sure to copy and save the credentials securely for future access. Now open a new browser tab and paste the login URL you just copied. Enter the newly created username and password to log in as the IAM user. And that's how you create and log in as an IAM user. Since I had already created an IAM user earlier, let's move on to hosting a simple web page using an EC2 instance. I will now enter my IAM user console and start the process of creating a new EC2 instance. As I have used EC2 before, it appears under recent services, but for the first time users, 
simply search for EC2 in the search bar. I already had an EC2 instance running, so I will stop and delete it before creating a new one. To do that, select the instance, click stop and then terminate. Now let's create a new one by clicking on launch instance. Select your preferred operating system. I am going with the all the default options here. Feel free to review the settings and make changes according to your requirements. Next. Select a key pair. I am using an existing one. If you don't have one, choose create new key pair. Then make sure to check all three networking options SSH, HTTP and HTTPS. Leave all other settings as default and click launch instance. After a few moments, your EC2 instance will be up and running. You can rename this instance, but that's just an alias. It won't affect the instance itself. Now copy the public IP4 address of your instance and save it somewhere safe. To connect to the instance, click on connect. There are four connection methods. The simplest is the EC2 instance connect. Click that and it will open a terminal in a new browser tab. This is a Linux environment and even if you have limited experience with Linux command, don't worry, just follow the commands I will show you. We will start with sudo command to gain super user privileges which are required to install the web server. Next check for system updates. Then install the apache http server. Create a file name index.html and open it with the vi text editor.
Inside the file, I will add a simple HTML line using h1 tags just for demonstration. Now that the HTML file is in place, you can access your web page by typing the public IP4 address we saved earlier into your browser. Since this server isn't connected to any domain yet, we are using the raw IP address for now. In the next video, I will show you how to connect your own custom domain to the server, upload external web page files and attach an SSL certificate for secure browsing. That's all for today. If you found it helpful, please do me a small favor. Subscribe to the channel and don't forget to like, share and comment. Thanks for watching.